today because last Tuesday you were busy. Yeah. Okay, so how are you, Miss Trang? Um, recently, um, um, like um, near that three days, I really busy with my own busy business. Yes, and I'm scared that we uh, need to like have absent before uh, before schedule. Holidays, oh. yeah. So maybe next week. Mm -hmm. I will. Uh, I will arrange my my schedule, and I will mm -hmm. I will inform to the Hello Center, and yes, yes uh, we will like um meet again after the holiday. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so um, did you have did you have year end party? Oh uh, yes, I have year end party. Uh, on the Tuesday, on the next Tuesday. Oh wow! Oh. Yeah, on the end of the January. Yeah, it would be January thirty. On thirty. Tuesday, 30 January. That's right. So <laughs> I think all Vietnamese, right? Vietnamese, yeah. most of my my students and my friends are having year end party too. Yeah. Um, um I don't I, I I don't remember the year end party. Oh you can't <laughs> Me. Oh, it's uh, next week. Yes, you you remind me. I <laughs> oh, not, mark that on I, your mark that on your calendar. Yes, I will take note. What, what do you usually do on uh, during year end party? Wearing. What do you usually do during year end party? Mm. We at year party. We will like have a look back on all the year about our like our company in yes some or uh, some awards some like lucky draw our uh, lucky draw. <laughs> oh, you, yeah. so you will have a prize, like you can get money or something. Yes. And a lucky draw that you like, you you spin. You're going to spin it. Spin it. <laughs> if you lucky, you are lucky. You get some money or some gift. Yeah, we call it lucky wheel, lucky <laughs> wheel or lucky draw. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, so maybe in our school, maybe we will have year end party too, mm -hmm. because most of our teachers are Vietnamese, so we will. Uh, we will celebrate with them. So it's my first time to celebrate your end party during February <laughs> because in the Philippines we celebrate your end party at the end of December, right? Last week of December. Yes, you don't. So know. I'm excited to see it. <laughs> so because Vietnam I have. Uh, Lunar New Year, so most of the company will like um, have year end party at the end of January, not at December. Right. Okay, so th did you buy like peach flower or apricot flower already? Do you have peach flower in your house or? Yes, of course. I ah. Uh, in this uh in this sunday i will go to hungian yes and go, i will oh, really? yes uh to um uh, to visit my grandpa yeah grandparents so i will like i will uh, like go with them to buy some peach flower yeah many there are many peach flowers on the street now 
Yeah. You can buy it everywhere. And you know, uh, yesterday I even uh, like uh, uh, I even like on TikTok I I saw a live stream live stream about um selling about selling peach flower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm amazed. I'm amazed because they said that each house will have each flower they will decorate their houses so everyone will buy peach flower or apricot flower or kumquat kumquat tree yes and if you have time you should go to hang Ma street oh what what is it is it, is it in hangian hang Ma street it um in hanoi in the old quarter of hanoi but in Hang Ma Street, um, many shops like uh, selling uh, that decoration. Oh, yeah. really beautiful. Yes, okay. I think many places are decorated by people because Tet is coming. Yeah, um, yeah. Hang Ma is really like um like foreigner really like it and i like i like it too and if you have time you should go to the hang mat to take some photos is, is it near is it around one kim lake yes one kim lake yeah in near near one kim lake oh okay i will try to go there this weekend maybe i will go there on saturday so mm -hmm. i will sh i will try to visit yes Remember to visit Hang Ma Street. It's like a traditional dead decoration of Vietnamese in yeah. It's a short yes. short street. It's old old quarter in the old quarter. Mm. Uh, do they also sell some clothes, some products, or just decorations? Uh some product to decoration. Mm. Mainly. All right. Okay, and I think. Uh, do products become more expensive during TED or near TED or it becomes cheaper? It becomes expensive because the like de uh, high demand but uh, the supply not enough to uh, not enough with the demand so mm -hmm. the price become more expensive. Okay, so I think people should buy long after Tet, right? <laughs> but uh, near Tet, um, uh, we have many like um, more beautiful products. Mm -hmm. yes. so, so it's okay to... Yeah. In some words, just uh, sell at the Tet, uh, Tet holiday. You cannot buy it before Tet. Oh, <laughs> I see. Okay. Oh, so it's okay to spend money, right? Because it's Tet. Yeah. All right, so Miss Fang, okay, we will have our new lesson today because we have finished about restaurants. Okay, so let's move on to unit four. This is your room. Yes. Okay, so I think we learned this first part. Let's move on to letter A, speaking, greetings, and introductions. So meeting people for the first time. Okay, so we will. Oh, I think we have finished this too, right? Yes, we finished uh, part one. Okay. What about this one? This one, uh, not. Right, yes. Okay. okay, so this is listening, understanding directions. Are you good at directions? No, I'm not good at direction. I also really like be, be confused with the left and right. I yeah. <laughs> because like I can use both uh, hand to hand. Mm -hmm. So I I in Vietnamese uh, they say that uh, the right hand is mm -hmm. the, the hand that you the right is the, the hand. Uh, you use for writing? Yes, you for writing. Yes, exactly. But I can use 
both right and left hand. So I oh, I see. <laughs> I really can't. So you're still confused. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. You can both you can use both of your hands. Yes. Oh, they in the Philippines we believe that if you can use your left hand, they said that you're good at math. Oh, yes, in Vietnam, Vietnam we believe in that too. Oh, <laughs> I think you're very good at math. Yes, I get in math more than uh, language. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Okay, so let's have here number one first. Try to match, okay, A to G to one to seven, okay, and then we will check. So I'll give you time to, to yeah. answer. Yes, I, I am done. You're done? Okay, so we have here letter A. It's on the left, that is number four. Okay, what about on the right? On the right is the number two. All right, so it's on okay, number A. two. On the right, very good. Next, at the top of? Top of is the number five. Okay, at the top of, very good. Next. As but the bottom of of is number seven. Mm -hmm. Letter E, please read. Uh, letter E at the end of uh, is the letter uh, is number six. And mm -hmm. F next to a number one and opposite is the number three. Oh, you're very good at direction. <laughs> you got it all. Yeah. Okay, but if you are on the street, I think I will be confused too. Yeah, I if I go with my friend, uh, like I also like, turn left, turn left, but actually I mean turn right. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Oh, I think you know. Maybe you know the direction, but you are confused of the the language, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, you do you use motorbike when you travel around Hanoi? Um, yes, I uh, travel handled by motorbike is more easier. It's easier to to like um go around. Oh yes, go around and know because the street uh, at the old quarter in Hanoi and the street is very like crowd. That's right. Because if you always take Grab or if you always book yeah. What's a bike or taxi? It will be more expensive. But Hanoi is more difficult than the province, right? Yes. Than province in the if you're in province, you rarely to meet a traffic jam. Mm -hmm. That's right. And when we when we first arrived in Vietnam, you know, during our first day, we got lost. Because uh, they all, they lent us a motorbike, so we tried to go out with my friend at night. We we are proud of ourselves, or we are confident that we remember our way back home. And then, and because you. our home is our home is like three kilometers or four kilometers from from the market from the coffee shops, so we tried to go to the coffee shop, and then. When we got when we go back home, we do not rem we didn't remember the street yeah. coming inside our village. So we call our Vietnamese friend late at night.
to pick us up because we couldn't remember our house. So it's unforgettable, but it's fine. Me too. When I was like um, just start to learn uh, to live in Hanoi for learning uh, for being at uh, university, I always lost and even in the first year, I just go from home to school and back home from school just to two destination. Oh, because you are scared. Yes, yeah, scared to be lost. I, I, I just uh, like walk and using bike, bike, so bike, just go to school and bike. No more, no more destination in for in one year. What and really for it, one year? That's yeah. a long time. Yeah. And after I have um, boyf- uh, after I had boyfriend who is uh. <laughs> husband, yeah. Um, he know the street, he know all the direction, he have motorbike. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he has a motorbike, so you can go around the place. And yes. now you are familiar, okay, yes. familiar with the place, mm-hmm. okay. All right, so now let's move on to uh, number two. So Mrs. Woods is showing Paula around the house. Listen and write the letter A to H of each room in the correct place on the plan. So we have here downstairs, one, two, three, four. We have upstairs, five, six, seven, eight. So we have letter A, please read letter A to F. Yes. What is letter A we have? Bathroom. Mm-hmm. The toilet. C is lounge. Yeah, lounge. D is mist and Mr. Wood room. E is up up the guy room. Up a big kale. A big kale room. Up a kitchen. G is Paula room. And H is dining room. So let's listen so we can um, identify which room is it. Recording 23. You hear it? Okay, so let me show you around. This is the hall, of course. On the left is the kitchen. And on the right is the dining room. And then along here, if you follow me, on the right is the lounge. This is where we spend most of our time. OK, so that's the downstairs. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's a toilet here just at the bottom of the stairs. So. Let's go upstairs now. On the left is our room. That's my husband Kevin and me. And opposite is Abigail's room. This is your room, along here next to Abigail's. It's quite big. Oh, yes, and the bathroom is at the end. Right, I think that's everything. Do you want to unpack? All right, so do you want to hear or listen again or you can tell me the answer now? I want to listen again because when I take note, my pen is like... Out of ink? (laughs) Recording 23. Okay, so let me show you around. This is the hall, of course. On the left is the kitchen. And on the right is the dining room. And then along here, if you follow me, on the right is the lounge. This is where we spend most of our time. OK, so that's the downstairs. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's a toilet here just at the bottom of the stairs. So let's go upstairs now. On the left is our room. That's my husband, Kevin, and me. 
and opposite is Abigail's room. This is your room, along here, next to Abigail's. It's quite big. Oh, yes, and the bathroom is at the end. Right, I think that's everything. Do you want to unpack? Okay, so let's have first downstairs. Okay, so we have here the hall. Okay, what do you call picture two or number two? Which room is it? The number two on the right is uh, or oh. dining room. Dining room? Yes. Okay, or kitchen. It's a kitchen. The kitchen on the... Mm -hmm. Wait, the hall, like... Yes. Me. Um front me front me and the, on on the, the left is yeah, number two left. on the left oh, i mean the right right you're right right is number two yeah so, so it's left is kitchen and, and the right is dining room yes and number three is um the lounge yeah lounge yes and number four and number four is toilet Yes, very good. So we have kitchen, um, lounge, okay, here, dining room, and this is the toilet. Okay, toilet. next let's have, move, let's move to, let's move upstairs. Yeah. Uh, Can you describe it? On the left of upstairs is um, Miss and Miss Wood room, and the opposite of Miss Ter and Miss uh, Wood room is Abigail room. Uh, Abigail's room next. Yes, on the uh, uh, next to Abigail room is Paula room. That's right. Yes, number eight. Number eight is end of uh, it's the bottom. The it is the bathroom. Yes, it's the bathroom. So uh, we have here three beds, right? Three yeah. bedrooms. And which one? Which room is the biggest? Uh, Abigail room is number seven. Seven, okay. Or in the picture we have a number Mr., six, right? Six. Oh yeah, big. six. And Paula, okay. Paula, Paula's room is big, but I think yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Woods' room is the biggest. Okay, yeah. Number five. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because and it's host. <laughs> that's right. So, okay. Later on. That is your homework. You will also describe your house in each room, okay? Yeah, so you will start in front of your house. Like imagine that you are yeah. outside and then when you go inside, describe, okay? <laughs> describe what you see uh, downstairs. Oh, do you have downstairs and upstairs or you only have downstairs? Um, I have uh, my house. My house has five floor. Oh, because, five floors. Uh, yes, five floor because the like square. The the. I see because in Vietnam, you know, in Vietnam, I see the, houses are not wide. Okay, houses are like tallest, <laughs> taller. Tall. Right? With yeah, it. each room, each floor has one floor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. each floor has one room. Yeah, exactly. Like, My house, like uh, every floor has one room with uh, one bathroom. Oh, okay. Oh, so, can you describe now what you see if yeah. I go to your house? Can you describe it for me? Yeah, a uh, surface so is the hall. Yeah, you come. Mm -hmm. The hall and the end of the first floor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you come, uh, enter the hall, you will you will be at a uh, like living room. Yeah, and the end the next the living room as uh, kitchen is also the uh, bottom of the floor. Yeah, and move That's to right. and move to the second floor. Uh, my house have one room that uh, call um, like working space. Me. Oh, like gym. Oh, 
study room? Yes, yeah, study room. Like. Yeah, study room. And uh, next up, the star, uh, next up, starting room is bathroom. Bathroom. Mm -hmm. With bath in the inside the bathroom, we have like bath and toilet. Yeah, that's right. And move to the uh, move to the third floor is um, um, no, like opposite of the upstairs is my my room. Oh, so your room is in on the third floor. Yeah, my room is on third floor. And on that floor, I have bathroom too. Mm -hmm. And move to the fourth floor, I have one room that for like a guest. Yeah, for guests. That's a room. I have a room, a room, a guest room. Yes, guest room. Yeah, guest room. And a bathroom too. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And the in the top of fifth my floor. the fifth floor, um, my house has like um, what the word? Is it the wash area? Is it the wash area or uh, laundry area? Ha uh, I have next to the upstairs is a uh, uh, yeah west <coughs> washing washing square and laundry square. Yeah. In and then opposite of the upstairs is uh, like balcony. Do you have a balcony? No, not balcony yet. Um, is the room for yeah, ancestor and her. Do you know that? I see. Yeah. Yeah. Is it like you put altar, like you put flowers on it, or something yeah. like that? Candle. Yeah. <laughs> ancestor room, ancestor. Yeah. Yeah. And next uh, on the end of the floor is a balcony. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. <laughs> so you and your husband has one room, right? Yes. That's right. And you also have ancestral <laughs> room. So in that room, you are not using it. It's just for your ancestral ancestors. Yes, it's called like, um, do you know that word? Can you search it for me? Because I don't know in this word for that room. It's it like, for example, wait, I will show you. Um, like, burn like this one? No, um, you can just. Uh, this one? Yeah. For earn. Oh yeah. yeah. Earn. You in English we call it earn. You know, because it's my, it's it's our first time to live in this apartment. So this apartment has like six floors. So we have first floor. We have the kitchen, kitchen on the first floor, and the parking area for motorbikes. Yeah. And there's a bathroom also. Second floor is a bedroom for some Vietnamese people and then the third floor is my bedroom fourth floor is ancestral room yeah and then uh I accidentally open it because it's it's not locked so when I open it like I am I'm just curious what it's inside when I open it I see like this urn like oh what's that <laughs> I'm scared. I guess that 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 feel that feel and uh, that that time you feel like oh like what what is that? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yes, it's my first time in the Philippines. We didn't have that. Yeah, um, in Vietnamese, uh, in Vietnam, every house will have one like ancestor room. Yeah. If like uh, even like me, um, I still have parent and grandparents still alive, but we will still have ancestor room like we have in Northwood. Um, like a spirit, 
yeah mm -hmm. yeah like spirit that we we believe that uh that spirit will like support it some somehow yeah it's much over you right much mm -hmm. over you and your family um me uh i will like when i want some uh, on the first day of lunar month and yeah. we're like uh, we will go to our sister room to pray yes mm, oh, i see pray for the man will have many luckily lucky right you will be lucky and then a lot of money <laughs> yeah and they become successful right oh yeah. uh, that's that's what you believe okay because in the philippines we do not put we do not put our ancestors in a room we put it in a cemetery cemetery oh you know right. have a cemetery too but mm -hmm. um, when like um on that day that um, people pass uh, you know, uh pass away yeah they will visit the cemetery but in the normal day um they just uh, pray at home in answers mm. oh but there's nothing inside that one there's nothing inside yeah. nothing uh, inside. i see you know the ancestral room is just right here <laughs> it's just next to yeah. my bedroom <laughs> you can you can live well uh, very well well because um in vietnam we have ancestor room that um where spirit yes yeah, spirit, uh -huh. spirit uh, can like support you no. yeah. <laughs> so in, in on the first day i was uh i was uh like shocked but i'm not very scared because our vietnamese friends told us that oh it's normal every house have have that <laughs> so yeah. i i'm getting used to it yeah um like uh what what are we call the um, like me not um like have a relative who passed away um yeah we have ancestor room to like pray for pray what word i will search please um Uh, of spirit, yes. Mm -hmm. so like, yes. like a security in your yeah. house. Yeah. yeah. It, like, um, don't let the like bad demons, things happen to you. Like demons, assets. Yeah. yeah. I see. Yeah, we have that too in the Philippines, but. Yeah, we have different cultures, so I'm happy to learn, right? Learn different culture in Vietnam too. So in um, every uh, every first day of month, we uh, I will go to ancestor room, bring some flowers, some um, fruit, some mm -hmm. cake, and uh, pray Earth Spirit um, uh, like protect us. Yeah. Oh, I see so that is what buddhism believe right yes this belief okay so this lunar new year every vietnamese will go to ancestors home right yeah and right. especially on tate holiday we will go to ancestor room and bring like a meal not only meal. flour and um, not only flour and fruit we bring a meal like many dishes meal. oh a meal i see yeah with many traditional dishes and like um, put, it. put it on the yeah, ancestor table mm -hmm. and like uh like we mm, we eat together after like after 50 uh, 50 minutes we will yeah bring it down and no you can eat it 
yet it yeah oh, so you're going to offer it first and then you can also eat that food yes we should we must uh like give spirit effort first yes and then you like uh, bring it down and eat, eat it after oh so the family right the family eat together yeah like oh, i see <laughs> So maybe on chat I will see see Vietnamese families because maybe yeah. some Vietnamese will invite us to like Vietnamese teachers. Yeah, in Vietnamese we call that thing that um, bring to the ancestor eat first, and then we eat and then we eat it. We will like um like eat some lucky thing, lucky yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> really. Um, yeah is it is it real do, do you believe it's real um it bring like it it would bring us uh, some lucky luck yeah luck lucky. Mm -hmm. in the whole year right the whole year you believe you will be lucky yeah and then you will wear new clothes <laughs> and get uh give lucky money to your to your small relatives or small family okay. yeah lucky money but uh, for ancestor we bring the meal and we eat it it's like uh, ancestor give you lucky wow that's a nice um tradition right or belief yeah. also Okay, so now let's have here um, number three. Okay, now listen to these sentences, write true or false for each sentence. Okay, so let's listen to audio 24. Yeah. Recording 24. A. The kitchen is downstairs on the left. B. The dining room is downstairs on the right. C. The lounge is next to the kitchen. D. The toilet is at the top of the stairs. E. Mr. and Mrs. Wood's room is at the top of the stairs on the left. F. Abigail's room is next to her parents' room. G. The bathroom is at the end. H. Paola's room is next to the bathroom. All right, so let's listen for one more time. Yes. Recording 24. A. The kitchen is downstairs on the left. B. The dining room is downstairs on the right. C. The lounge is next to the kitchen. D. The toilet is at the top of the stairs. E. Mr. and Mrs. Wood's room is at the top of the stairs on the left. F. Abigail's room is next to her parents' room. G. The bathroom is at the end. H. Paola's room is next to the bathroom. All right, are you ready? Yes. Okay, Num letter A. Okay, so that is true. All right, it's... Letter, letter B. What about letter B? Letter B. Sp speaker said that the dining room is uh, on the right of the of the stair. Is true. Oh, very good. Next, um, letter C. Letter C. Uh, letter C is true. He said that the the the, the lounge is uh, next to kitchen. Yeah, next to the kitchen. So that's number two and number three. Okay, so it's true. Letter D. Letter D is uh, 
uh, launch it and and the stir uh, the stir. Yeah, I think it's true too. Okay, end of the stair. Lounge is at the end of the stairs. Yeah, end of stair. So I think the end of the stair is the toilet, right? Yeah, it's toilet. Oh, it's toilet, not not lounge. Lounge is number number C, letter C. Oh, letter C. Okay, letter D is. Letter D. Toilet is at the yeah. end. Yeah. Okay. Letter E. Number E is uh, number E is true. Is Mister and Miss room is next to their stair. At the top, right? At the top. 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 Next to the stairs. Yeah. yeah. That's letter F. Letter F is for uh, the speaker said that the other girl next to her parent room is wrong. That room is us. Yes. It's opposite with uh, her parent room. Yeah, opposite to her okay. parents room. Next seven. Letter G. Letter G uh, about the parlor room next to the uh, uh, letter G is about bathroom is at the end mm -hmm. of the stair. I think it's a false. Because where is the bathroom? Yes, bathroom. I mean, the speakers said about talk about the bathroom number H in the speaker said that the number H is end of end of the stair, but I don't think okay. it's the end of the stair. Letter H is end of the stair. So where is the bathroom, Miss Strong? Yes, can it, you tell me? How will you describe the bathroom? Is it is it on the left, on the right, at the top, next to, or what? Yes, the next to the right of Mr. and Mr. Room. Yes, okay, so it's at the end, at the, right? The end, yes, it's the end of the stair. Okay, let me, let me have number eight here. It's next to the bathroom. H. Paula's room is next to the bathroom. Okay, so H, Paula's room is it's next true. to the bathroom. It's, it's true. True. Okay, it's true. All right, so what about your bathroom, Miss Huang? Is it next to your bathroom or oh, next to your bedroom? My room, my room and my bathroom. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's next. It like a uh, number H and number seven. Yeah. Okay. H and seven. So usually, usually our bathroom is in the bedroom too, right? Yes. That's right. <laughs> so it's cold. You do not need to go outside and take a bath or take take a shower. So yeah. you just need to to go to your bedroom. Yes. It's really cold today, right? Like since Tuesday, we didn't go to class since Tuesday because our school told us that the temperature is too low. So mm -hmm. <laughs> children cannot go to school because it's cold. How yeah. about in Hanoi? Uh, in Hanoi, what right now is what temperature? is 11 uh, 10 10 10 degrees oh mm. you see it's still cold you yeah. know hanoi is hanoi is colder than france cooler than france yeah because last night i asked my one of my friend mm -hmm. she told me that the temperature last night is 11 11 11 mm. but he in, in vietnam last night is was eight H and my husband have like a um, work trip yeah to hazan huh? hazan it's yeah. the temperature in hazan was two degrees huh? 
Wait, two? Yes, two. I cannot I cannot believe it. Really? Great, yeah. And um like uh last year in Hazang still uh, even ha even just like zero zero degrees yes. wow it's nearly snowing yeah it's nearly sno snowing but and you know when i like just um bring just hold my my oh. phone to like texting just 10 seconds i cannot even like cannot hold uh, your phone anymore yeah cover for it anymore because it's freezing yeah, freezing. I oh. when it's just zero degree. Wow, I think Hazang is one of the coldest places in Han in in Vietnam. Next to Sapa, right? Sapa is the coldest. Not yet, Sapa and Hazang not not the coldest. Uh, the coldest is like um even half snow uh, even snowing. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so snow. I think it is in Mosun. It's the the top of the mountain. Sapa? That's Sapa. Sapa? No, near Sapa. Yeah, Iti. Mm, I see. Yeah. yeah, so I think many foreigners want to visit Sapa because <laughs> it's snowy too. Wow. In, in Philippines, don't have snow, right? No, we don't have winter. Even winter, we don't have. You don't have. Wow. Yeah. We only have two seasons, dry season and rainy season. So I'm very, I'm very excited to feel winter uh, uh, in November. But now I don't like it anymore. <laughs> in the south of Vietnam. Yeah, in south, in the south of Vietnam. Uh, just have two seasons, dry and rainy. Uh -huh. Yeah. In Ho Chi Minh, right? Yeah, Danang. Danang. Yes, yeah, oh. just two seasons. So, which do you like? Two seasons or four seasons? I like four seasons. Oh, I see. <laughs> what is your favorite season? My favorite season is winter. Really? Why? <laughs> autumn and winter. In autumn, is really like the weather and the life. Uh, and the, like life, what the word? The flowers bloom. Yes, a flower bloom, and then um, like I feel like um, every everybody is a chill in pace. Yeah, pace of life very chill. Mm, I see. The autumn and the winter. I like it because uh, we I can wear I can wear many beautiful clothes and I ha we ha can eat hot pot and I feel like in the winter um, family like everybody Very together yeah have the time for together more than summer yeah, because summer is a busy busy mm -hmm. busy day because everyone. Is outside. <laughs> Don't want to touch it together. Ah, because it's hot. <laughs> but in winter, like everyone needs hug or they want it to be warm. Yeah. So no one, no one is outside traveling to. I see. <laughs> okay, so let's have here. Okay, we only have few minutes. So next meeting, Miss Um Trang, we will have. Mm, model verbs, okay? okay. So when we say model verbs, these are can, have to, should, don't have to. Yes. So we will practice these um, model verbs, okay? Yes. And maybe I will just, oh, did you know? Okay, let's have this one. Did you know in the UK, public toilets are often called the ladies and gents? You may also hear someone ask, Where's the loo? In American English, people say restroom or bathroom. Uh, oh, I like this. <laughs> Ladies and gents. Um, yeah. And where's the loo? You know, 
in in uh -huh. British British English or in the UK, we hear a lot of different words, English words, but different. So sometimes, even though you know English, we are still confused. What what is it? Yeah. Yeah. Because they call it differently. Like for example, yeah. uh, we call it French fries, but for them they call it chips. Yeah, French fries are called chips in the UK. So if you wanted to travel there, okay, you need to learn, <laughs> learn their words. Yeah. But in, in Vietnam, you usually use toilet? Toilet, yeah, we usually use toilet. Yeah, or yeah. sometimes they call it CR. In the Philippines, we usually say CR, like short term for comfort room. Oh, we don't use that word. We use toilet in WC. WC? What is WC? We want comfort? WC? Yeah. What is... Maybe I, I just say welcome. I thought WC is welcome. Oh, water closes. I think... Can you type it? Yes. Water, water closet? Yeah. Yeah, then over here we use or WC, but I think not many people know the full uh, sentence of WC is water. Oh, but usually you just, you just say WC. Yes, this is. Oh, but in Vietnamese, what do, what do you call? What do you call toilet in Vietnamese? Nhà vệ sinh. Oh, it's long. <laughs> <laughs> can, yeah. can you type it? Yeah, nhà vệ sinh. Nhà vệ sinh. Ah, uh -huh. where is nhà vệ sinh? <laughs> yeah, where is nhà vệ sinh? Yeah, but oh, most of them, when, right. when they go to the restaurant, they will say toilet, so they know exactly where is toilet. Toilet, WC, and Nyavasi. Oh, I will practice that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Miss Rang, maybe you will be busy next week, so just inform the hello. hello. So yeah. if we do not see each other on Tuesday and Thursday, I will see you after that. Yeah, because you know I have a shop with the firework and uh, yeah, many people come to buy firework and I need to like um, as oh. account. Yeah. Your your company selling fireworks? No, my shop, my own shop. You're working. You're working in your own shop. Um, I have official work in a company. You have yeah. a business. And I have, I also have my own business, uh, which is wow. selling, selling firework. And you know, it near it, firework is very like, um, in the, demand. In demand, yeah. How in, in demand. And I think that. I have many work to do for both of them. Yes, oh, so you need to focus, okay? Yeah. Right, so that is what I'm looking forward to, watch the fireworks on TED, because I have seen the fireworks in our new year. I wanted to see how how fireworks on TED holiday. Yeah, you can you can go to Hanoi to like... Uh, watch, count down. Yeah, countdown. I will. When? When is the countdown? Um, as a February nine or February ten. Uh, like um, at the, you know that. Uh, is it that time of ten? Yeah. Move midnight, midnight of 10. Midnight, midnight of 10, but it's like move to move from the 9 and 10. The the 10. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, we will be there. What 
it, it's our holiday too, so we don't have class. So I can go to Hanoi and watch fireworks. <laughs> well, you can go Hanoi because in Tet, Hanoi is like very, very like um, not as not normal, not crowd. Oh, yeah, because they will normal. go home. They will go to their hometown. Yeah, and it's very like chilling. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. It's not a busy. It's not busy as always. Okay, so happy, happy Tet, happy New Year. <laughs> yeah, and I hope you will have a lucky year, and I'll see you. I'll see you next next meeting. Thank. Yeah, thank you for understanding um, for understand my music. Yeah, it's uh, it's okay. So thank you, Miss Rang. See you. Thank you. Future and see you. See you.